Most people in America are familiar with the concept of faith because we often say to people, have faith in yourself, have faith in the Lord, have faith in your angels, have faith in something, have faith in Muhammad, have faith in your brother, have faith in your sister, have faith in your mother, have faith in your father, have faith in your friends, have faith in society, have faith in politicians. Well, we don't say that often in much variety, but the reality is we use the concept of faith. In my work with my faith fob practice, I teach people how to have faith in God, not how to have faith in themselves. A common question is, can I move a pendulum? I had a girl tell me that her pendulum always lied to her, and I appreciated that lesson to me, but I also appreciated the facts of life for her. She was wanting her pendulum to do something for her that the Lord or her assigned angels from God did not want her to do for her. And it is truthful. If I really want something, I can say, go ahead, show me what I want to hear, and they will do that for me. But the truth is, I prefer the submission of God. In the submission of God, I benefit in some way, even if it's modest or immodest. You see, when I have faith, I find my way through the struggles of life. When I have faith, I just laugh at life and say, you know, despite being homeless, despite being a traveler, despite being intelligent, despite having a business, despite being able to do all of that without technology, I'm at peace with myself. I don't have an argument with myself. There's no argument going on within myself in terms of some conundrum somewhere. That's a lie that people who allege they know me say about me. There's no conundrum. conundrum. There's no midlife crisis. There's no problem except for you trying to rule my life. And no offense, but God didn't need you to rule my life. God is God, and you are you, and God is a deity, and you are a human, so why would I need you to control my life? In America, we have faith. We have faith in our nation. We have faith in our military. We have faith, to a reasonable degree, in our president, because why? Not because he's Joe Biden, because he's got the history, the background, the seasoning, and the experience to do the job, motherfuckers. He was a vice president, for God's sake. He sat on cabinets for America. He's worked in small business. He knows the struggles that people face. But somehow he managed to produce $12 million for his life. What do you think he did? Do you think he went off and did nothing in his life? Or do you think he received some funding? Do you think he got some speaking gigs? Or do you think he went on to national opportunities to support someone, to advise them, and he took advantage of it to the best of his ability provide for his family and his legacy. You see, that is the concept of faith. Faith for me is the foundation of all infinite happiness and prosperity. So this time I'm practicing my faith despite being in poverty. You see, people who are in poverty often have a faith, but they don't know how to practice their faith so they get themselves out of poverty. Sometimes their faith in themselves leads them astray. And I know about the way that audio files can be used in the subliminal to pretend as if you're hearing God, and that's not okay. We learned about that in the 80s with a great show that was on TV that showed how to use technology to make someone look like something, and that was okay. It was also sort of dehumanizing, and it was also sort of, well, scary, but the truth is it made an impact on me to this day. There are a lot of films out there that change the way we think and feel about things. And my film, Dragon Priest, Life of Vision, might just do that in the future of America. But it's all about me, not at all. It's about finding the right producer, finding the right actress, finding the right partner, and finding the right position to be in in order to cushion myself from blows, not at all, in order to position myself in order for me to grow. And that is faith.